Hello, classic tricky grade nine probability question that they like to um, uh, do these questions more frequently now. A bowl has n pieces of fruit. Of these, four are oranges and the rest are apples. So we know that there are uh, four oranges and we know the number of apples will be n minus four because the total number take away the four oranges. Two pieces of fruit are going to be taken from the bowl at random. So that means we need to set up a probability uh, tree where there's the first pick is orange or apples and then the second pick is either orange or apples or orange or apples. And the probability that um, the bowl will contain n minus six apples is one third. Okay, so in the first instance, if you take an apple away, then you'll be left with n minus five. And then if you take another apple away, you'll be left with n minus six. So the only way that this can occur is if you take an apple followed by an apple. And we know the probability of that is one third. Now, what's the chance of you taking an apple in the first instance? Well, there are n minus four of them over a total of n in the bowl. And then in the second pick, we've lost one apple because we've taken one already. So it's n minus five apples over a total of n minus one. Because again, one of the fruit has been taken out. So the total is dropped by one. So we get this equation, n minus four over n multiplied by n minus five over n minus one is equal to one third. We can then multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom to get n minus four times n minus five all over n times n minus one is equal to one third. And then we could do some cross multiplying. So I can bring this denominator, multiply both sides by that denominator to bring it to the top over here. And I can take this denominator here, multiply it by both sides to bring it over here. So we get three lots of n minus four, n minus five is equal to one lot of n, n minus one. Okay, now we need to expand out. So expanding out this bracket is going to give me uh, three lots of n squared minus four n minus five n plus 20. And over here, I'm going to get just n squared minus n. Multiplying through by three and collecting these up to eight minus nine times by three is minus 27 plus 60 is equal to n squared minus n. Bringing it all over to one side, so subtracting the n squared and adding on an n, whoops, will give me minus 26n plus 60 equals zero. I can divide that through by two to get this. And then two numbers that times together to make 30 and add to make negative uh, 13 are positive 15 and negative two. Whoops, that's not right. Negative 15 and positive two. Nope, that's not right either. Silly Billy. N minus three and N minus 10. That will do the job. Yeah, they both add to make minus 13 and they times together to make positive 30. So I get N equals three and I get N equals 10. And I'm hoping the question said values, which will help me confirm. Oh, no, it doesn't. It says value. Okay, let's think about this. Well, can there be a total of three bits of fruit in the bowl? No, there can't because we already know there were four oranges. So therefore the correct answer and the only correct answer is n is equal to 10 and we must reject n equal to 3.